Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, it's me LaShawn and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a blessed day because we're happy, we're joyful, and we're up, we're moving around. So what do we have to be happy about? We woke up this morning. That's what we got to be happy about. Okay, so today, if you're new here, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is LaShawn. I'm the mother of three adult children. I'm a United States Navy veteran. I'm a surgical tech, and now I'm here on YouTube. Finding ways to save money, to be frugal, to live like a minimalist, to... um. Uh, clip coupons. We do whatever we got to do to save money. Okay. That's what we do here. And today's video, we're going to say what's in my fridge. We're going to organize and clean my fridge because it's a, it's an ongoing battle. I'm trying to go to the store. I'm trying to do the best I can. I'm trying to clean my apartment. I'm trying to do it all myself with limited mobility. And I'm trying to do it so that nothing spoils, that I can rotate my food, and that I'm spending the least amount of money as possible on food. Because I have to eat. We all have to eat. But a good way of always making sure you don't uh, spend money twice on the same thing is to periodically to clean out your fridge. So we're just going to go through the fridge, see what we got, what do we need to do to clean some of that stuff out. It might be some old stuff in there. So get your mask and go on in. You ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You ready? Let's do this fridge. This is my little fridge. I have pictures on my fridge of my kids, my mom, my my dog that passed away, my sister, my mother and father, and, and my kids. That's just about it. Okay, so we're going in. And this is the fridge, which is not very organized, but we are going to go through what's in it. Okay, so if you look here, that's all my water. Uh, I try to get both sides, the small ones and the big, the regular ones. And then up here, we have grapes. Now, these are grapes with seeds. And these are regular grapes. We're going to have to go behind there and see what we got. Here. Okay. This is some fruit. I have to look at the date on this because I don't know. Okay, there we go. T December 11th, 2022. So that's good for a year. And then this is the pudding. Some pudding. What that say? March. This is wait, look, March 2022. So both of those are good. These are good. I know this is new. That is my lunch meat. I just got it here. Move that over and we'll put the grapes back up there. And these are seedless. The green grapes are seedless. And that's water. And then down here is just juice. Right here, this is still good. And in the back, I have that's fruit cocktail, some hot dogs, and my bagels. And then at the very bottom is my milk. A 7-Up. There's my orange juice. I cannot live without my cranberry juice. Gotta have some cranberry juice. And then the regular soda for when my kids come. And there's my salad. So I'm good. So I know exactly what I got in here. And in here we have... This is where our cheese is. And let's just organize that. And then here is where... I need to go through this stuff. Let's see. This is mustard, and it says February 22, so I'm going to check and see if I have any in my cabinet, and if I do, I'll throw this out. This is salsa. I don't even know. Now, the salsa, I'm not sure about, you guys, because my kids would have... Okay, this say 2023, so it's, it's fine. Oh, I need some. Oh, no. Look, we're out of apple jelly. Oh, no. 
And this is my, okay, what did it say? February. This is our uh, French style dressing. It's good to 2023. This is the ranch. It says December, what did I say? December 2022. So that is good. I just opened this applesauce day before yesterday, so it's still good. That's the margarine. I just took this out the freezer. This margarine, so we know it's good. Then behind there, I have my insulin behind there, and we know that's good. It just came. This down here is my apple juice. This here is our leftovers. I'll put it over there. That's leftovers from yesterday. Here's our Miracle Whip. Ketchup. I need some ketchup. See, when you do this, it also tells that's grape jelly. See, I have jelly. I'm just out of running out of apple. That is my new insulin that just came. UPS, and that's my lemon juice. So what I've learned is I need lemon juice. I need some more apple jelly. I'm running low on my dress for my salad. I need to replace my mustard. It'll be expiring soon. And then I need to rotate my grapes, which means I need to start eating the grapes. All my apples are gone. So that's what I do. I, I go through everything and see what, what you need to buy or whatever. And I like to have at least two juices to have juice. The soda is for when I got the taste for it, really, but not very often. But what I try to do is try to have it... <sighs> Turn this around for when the kids come by. And that's what I like to do. So that's my fridge. That's everything that's in it. And how I'm going to try. As you can see, I, well, I moved stuff around as we went. So at the very bottom, down at the bottom is my lettuce and some more soda. And my eggs would be down there. And if I had bacon, it would be in there. But I don't have any bacon. But again, that's it. And I'm going to move this over here. And that way, that's my apple juice. And that is my cran, cran, either, I like cran apple, but cran raspberry is my favorite. And Ocean Spray make the really good cranberry, uh, cranberry raspberry, pomegranate, and the grape. And that's it. That is everything that's in my fridge and everything that's not in my fridge. And I'm going to... Uh, do my meal planning accordingly. So let me just show you on the side. Everything is in order. And that is our fridge. What is in my fridge update? As I turn the bottles around. Forgive me. There we go. The little small spring water is sometimes I just don't want to drink it, but I have to. All right. That's it. That's all we got. So that is it. That is what's inside of my fridge. And now with that, I get my marker and I write down everything that I know that I need. Now, as you can see, I have jelly, but I want apple jelly. It's my first choice. So I will write that down on my sale paper for this week. But um, having uh, apple jelly is not a need. It's a want. And um, that's another thing when you're meal planning, when you're uh, frugal and you're trying to make it. Sometimes you have to just eat what you can. You cannot always have the shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Or the, the chicken breast, all of my favorite things. Sometimes instead of chicken breast, I have to eat chicken legs because I can't afford to eat the chicken breast. And sometimes I have to eat grape jelly because <laughs> apple jelly is an extra 2 or $3 for that week. That's just all I'm saying. You can do whatever works for you. This is what works for my unit, for my family. I am a family of one, but I'm on a fixed income. And that is even, that's a big deal. And a lot of people don't understand it because they know that they can go to work and get a check every week. And they know 
that if they do X amount of hours, this is the amount of money they're going to have. And if they want to do extra, you just pick up an extra day at work. You're going to do a little bit of overtime. You want to get your kids an extra pair of shoes or you know that you want to go shopping this weekend. So you're going to put in, you know, I don't know, eight extra hours so that you can have that disposable income to go shopping. But, well, it's not that way on a fixed income. That's the mentality that I'm trying to get people to understand. That is why I do these YouTube videos, and that is why I try to explain to you. If you get X amount of dollars a month, let's say you get $100 a month, and you got to pay rent, electric, cable, phone, I don't know, water bill, whatever you have, whatever your bills are, life insurance, car insurance, car note, whatever your bills are, you have to chip away at that $100. And then whatever you got left, that's what you eat. And that is my motto. I have to pay my bills. I have, I have to pay the rent. I have to pay the electricity. If I don't, then I have no place to live. And those are just the core bills. And then I have to use that little bit of money to eat. So that is the uh, my budget. And the food is the least amount of money that I can spend in order to exist. So... Uh, you might think, oh, why is she going through the fridge? That's so silly. Just go get what you need and come back. Well, $2 here, $3 there of duplicating something that I already have tends to add up. If I know that I got jelly in there and I go buy jelly and don't need to, then that's $2 right there that I spent on jelly. Another $2 on Miracle Whip when you just saw it in the fridge. I have it. Another $2 on apple juice, but I got plenty of apple juice and cranberry juice. So that's $6 right there I would have spent that I don't need to because it's my automatic stuff, the orange juice, the jelly stuff. That's stuff I get all the time. But I have to see how much I have left. Okay, so I won't buy it this week. So I know that's two more dollars that I can spend on something else. Okay, not rocket science. I don't know what you're thinking, but people that's on fixed income are like this. They are very dedicated to an X amount each week, each bi week, or every month. And I just ask that if you are someone who has someone that's elderly or disabled who is living on a fixed income, don't, you know, make them feel uneasy. But at the same time, try to see how they're making it. Because if you go over there and the fridge is empty, it might be empty because they don't have any money to buy food. It's just as simple as that, okay? Now, if you are in a position where you are hungry, then please call somebody. Please ask for help. Go to your church, uh, dial 211, which is United Way, or um, find a food pantry. I don't have a car, so that was my dilemma with the food pantry, is if you're not a certain age, they don't deliver. That's what I learned in Jacksonville, Florida, but that's a whole nother video. So if you're hungry, please ask for help. It's, it's the hardest thing that you'll have to do, but you'll be able to eat, okay? So that's it. That's all I got for you today. My, um, my goal today is that you see that whatever you have is worthy of going into the next week. You can save money on and trim the fat on your grocery bill. And that's it. We just look for ways to save money. Bottom line. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you. If you're new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But also, you need to click that bell so you're alerted to every time I do a new video on trying to save money. Okay, because I'm out here hustling. All right? So, okay, let's breathe in and breathe out and get this day started. You ready? Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father. We thank you for another day. We are so grateful. We are grateful that we have food to eat today, Father God. We got a roof over our head. And I'm so grateful for all of you, all of my YouTube subscribers. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for supporting me. And if you want to send mail or a donation or a blessing, all the information will be in the comment section. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you. Have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.
Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.